welcome to the Rose Tarot Goals. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio for the month of May 2021. During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100% okay. Now if this is the case, please take a look at your moon, rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Finally, I thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light for guiding me to finally share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So Scorpio, let's get started. I've meditated over, prayed over, shuffled your cards and they are now ready for a good read. So let's start. If you wish to skip this part, go ahead and do it. And for the ones of you who are still here, just a small announcement that I will be launching a range of products, yes, for the spiritual community. Please take a look and go ahead and make a choice in buying the products, yes. So, my darlings, let's see what's in store for you. Let me take a look at the camera angle as I'd moved it. A bit better. Sorry, I'm a bit anal about certain things. Right, my darlings. You're now ready. Your overall energy is the magician. Lovely. So, oh good God, Bubbles has opened the door. But I'm not moving from the table as yet, okay? So, let's see. Ooh. So, looks like you have turned down a offer of reconciliation that was coming your way from a person of the past, yes? Because you're coming out of... Um... <laughs> this person has a lot of hope, though, that you will take them back, but I can see over here clearly that you are not taking this person back into your life, nor are you entertaining any of the advances towards you. Because you have been through a lot of pain, a lot of hurt with regards to this person and now you're coming through on the other side and you do not want to go through the same old cycle all over again. Yes, you're listening to your intuition, you're learning your lessons, but be careful. Yeah, take, uh, be gentle on yourself and take your time while moving forward, yes, instead of skipping the whole process. But whatever it is, yes, I can see you're standing firm in your stance, you're having high hopes for your future, yes. You are still a bit hesitant whether to move forward uh, in your life or not because you're still going through a lot of turmoil within you which you are trying to sort out, yes. But nonetheless, you have uh, high hopes for your future. This person wants to come towards you, they want to communicate to you, yes, their intentions of why they want to come towards you, yes. But you know very well that this person has had a lover on the side or somebody they were entertaining on the side, yeah, whom you consider to be... Um, or what you consider to be a complete deception in your relationship, yes? And uh, you're not entertaining this person because you still have a feeling that this person is still uh, entertaining this person on the side and they're not coming towards you from a pure space, yes? Of uh, offering an apology. Perhaps you're, you are waiting for an apology. Yeah, perhaps you're waiting for an apology from this person, but this person feels that they can get away with things, yeah, and try and brainwash you into thinking otherwise that they have done nothing wrong to you, yes. So this person is blatantly taking you for a ride, yes, and you are, this is in fact causing more hurt to this relationship than anything else because this person feels that they can get away with things and they do not, do not want to take uh, responsibility or ownership for the actions yes it's very clear over here that they do not want to take ownership for the actions because they feel uh, like uh, you get the upper hand if they get caught or something of the sort but little, little do they realize that taking ownership and taking responsibility and confessing is the first step towards recovery of your relationship then you can start working on the relationship right but this person is a bit arrogant yeah and egotistical in their ways yes 
it is very clear over here. Oh, it is very clear over here that this person is still entertaining other people on the side. They're still having fun, basically, yes? They're still having fun, they're living their life. It's not like they're, oh God, they are entertaining people on the side. So this person has a kind of a behavior where every time you all break up, they do not uh, waste time in finding somebody, you know, to squeeze on. <laughs> you know what I mean? This person, uh, they just uh, hop on to the next person, whoever is in the way, like whoever is there. Yeah, and giving them a bit of attention, there they go, yeah. It's not like they take time off and uh, use this time wisely when they're away from you, yeah, or when there's a breakup to see how they can rectify the situation or, you know, make things better. No, no, they're nothing of that sort. They are straight on to the next one, yes. They do not wish to work on anything. So you are the one who's been doing all the work. So the work you have been doing is not only mentally, you've also been doing spiritual work, meaning to say you have been ascending spiritually by working through all the pain and through all the trauma so that you're now strong enough that you are able to move forward on your own. Karma is here appearing in your reading. Yes, and whoever is done wrong over here is going to get their karma and the scales will be balanced in your favor. Yes. Something is bringing you a lot of happiness, yeah, because now I can see clearly over here, you are obviously focusing on your stability, yeah, you're emotionally getting very stable in your life, yes, because you're not accepting any negativity that's coming your way, which is very good, yes, so it's helping you move forward um, in a nice way. You feel as though you've got this inner feeling that you have avoided a disaster, you know very well, yeah, by listening to your intuition over here, that um you actually listen to your intuition over there yes and you let this relationship fall to, to the ground and burn to ashes you know why because um, this would have led to more disasters in your future and you knew that very well yeah now this could have been a, a committed relationship or a relationship that was leading towards a legal commitment Yes, but nonetheless, you all were exclusive, supposed to be exclusive together, but this person was not uh, ready for it, or either it was that, or either it was that they did not know what an exclusive relationship means in their mind. So perhaps this person did not have role models, you know, to shape up their upbringing or to give them a view of how to behave in relationships. So they have decided to, this person is quite astray, really. Yes, so if it was for some of you, if it was a marriage, I can see clearly over here you have children involved in the situation. So it's advised over here by the by your spirits and angels that you you are uh, advised to focus on your family, yeah, on your children, on your life, on you. Yes, in order to be moving forward, be gentle with yourself. Yes, be gentle, be great, graceful. Be uh, loving to yourself, yeah? Focus all your energies onto yourself, yes? Do not give out any energy for free yeah, to people who do not deserve it. Now, you're putting an end to that relationship because obviously it is coming to your knowledge that this person is still vagabounding around, still, you know, uh, having his, their sex, sex, what do you call it? Sexcapades. <laughs> still having their sex, sexcapades. <laughs> Sorry, the word was a bit of a twister at that moment. Yes, so you are ending the situation. This person also could be uh, coming to you and saying that whatever is in your head is all in your head. It's not really true. They're trying to brainwash you, but you're not entertaining any of that sort. You're closing all communications, anything to do with this person, right? And you are uh, uh, moving forward in your life. You are going inward, yeah? So you are going into retrospect and looking at your life and analyzing the situation from a different point of view yes from a bird's eye point of view which is very nice yes you are there is somebody around you though that's quite passionate about you yes but i'll tell you what regardless of that i'll tell you what uh, your angels are guide are guarding you okay because they know that if you're feeling the sudden strength within you to move forward, it is because your angels are guarding you. 
Yes, they know you're operating from a pure space, and this person has just been taking you for a jolly good ride, isn't it? So your angels are actually propelling you forward, and this is the gift towards you from the universe here yeah, that you are receiving. So be thankful to the universe for helping you out here. You, you had invested in the wrong person and now I can see you are moving forward, okay? Now, you have a lot of hope and uh, you have a lot of dreams, yes, and now you have the time on your hands because you have this freedom, yes, and you have this time on your hands and you are working and uh, kind of uh, making a plan for your future, okay? So you are taking time out to yourself, you're concentrating on your home, on your surroundings, on the people who love you and you love, yes, and you are uh, moving ahead, yes, with your dreams. I can see you are strategizing and you are making a plan with regards to your money, with regards to your career, with regards to your business, with regards to hobby, whatever it is that you want to monetize and uh, bring st through which you can bring stability towards your life, yes? This dream you could have had since you were a young, young person, yes? If you're a bit, a bit older in your 30s or 40s, yes, I can see over here clearly that you may have had a dream long time ago, let's put it that way. You may have had a dream a long time ago and now you are going to be working on it, yes? And this is, in fact, inviting young energy back into your life, like fresh energy into your life. Sorry, guys, the electricity is gone again because a lot of electrical wires have been um, crashed upon by trees and everything during the cyclone. So that's the reason I'm not able to do live as well, because I didn't want my Internet to just be bursting out, you know, in the middle of things. So that's why I'm doing videos yeah, for, for a little while. So please bear with me. So if the no noises outside are louder than usual, it's because there's extreme quiet <laughs> with all the electricals. So there you go. So I can see clearly you're walking away from anything that does not serve you. Yes, you're walking away from the dark and towards the light. Yes, you're uh, going through a lot of emotions. Yes, if you're emotional, I can see you're crying it all out and it is kind of like a cleansing energy for your soul. Yes, you know over here there was somebody around you, somebody you considered as a close friend who was actually working against you. Yes, and now this has come to light and you are not entertaining any people. You've become very cautious of the people around you. Yes, and this in turn is uh, helping you to move forward. Uh, in a very positive manner because you're cutting all negativity so if anyone is coming towards you with any not negative sorry with any negative comments or anything of the sort you are in fact uh, cutting them off from your life left right and center now you are called upon to listen to your intuition and put the past to the rest but i can see you are still not completely healed from inside because i can see that you are still seething you're very angry at whatever happened in the past you're very angry at yourself for entertaining such a person in your life you know there's a lot of anger there's a lot of pain there's a lot of uh, trauma that you have to work through from within yourself here yeah? so uh, cleanse yourself spiritually meditate upon yeah yourself you can meditate uh, in any way, you know, listen to music or any other form that brings you calm and peace and harmony to your being, right? So any form. Now, uh, you're called upon to listen to your intuition if you were thinking about this person. You were not, if you were not clear that this person was cheating on you or if you did not have any evidence that this person was entertaining other people on you. Yes, you listen to your intuition. Your intuition is correct. Yeah? Your intuition was correct all along. There was deception in the situation, yes, this relationship. So if there is some kind of hesitation where you're doubting yourself, do not doubt yourself because whatever you're thinking, whatever you felt, yes, whatever you felt energetically about this person is absolutely true. Yes, you are the master of your own universe. Yes, you create what you think, what you um, believe. So go ahead and work on your dreams. It will all be coming towards you. You're the person uh, that is uh, there around you, they have a lot of skeletons in their closet. Yes, and um, I can see you are going towards uh, self-love. Yes, you're going towards a new career. You're looking at life from a brand new point of, uh, from a brand new perspective. Yes, from a brand new point of view. You're feeling fresh. Your energy is getting refreshed as we go along, right? So you're feeling refreshed and you are coming out of the um, phase where you're feeling immense hurt, pain, anger. I can see you towards 
the end of it all, yeah, towards the end of this process, how long it takes in your timeline, timeline, you will be coming out of it most definitely. Yes, you're being advised to seek uh, help from your friends or support groups or, you know, even if you just want to talk, yeah, to somebody, just talk to somebody about all this or write it down in a journal, for example, all your experiences. So that is just out of your system and you're not carrying it along with you. Because as you carry it along with you, all this trauma, hurt and pain, you cause blockages within your being, okay? So there could be a friend around you who's helping you out in a way. Yes, this friend means you well. So uh, you could uh, perhaps talk your... Uh, talk uh, your hurt and your pain and everything you know share i mean to say share it with your friend and this friend of yours is going to help you out you know to emotionally unload all your negativity yes and to let it out of your system i can see moving forward you're concentrating on yourself you're concentrating on your career your dreams yes your life you're taking care of yourself so if before you were neglecting yourself i can see you will be coming uh, full circle and you'll be back in your element all over again yes so your future is looking good your overall energy i can see you will be going towards manifesting your dreams you'll be holding on to the thought yeah you'll be very strong and you will be keeping on to that path moving ahead yes nothing is going to be able to shake you you are uh, unshakable uh, moving ahead i can see um basically it's all, all about this person Yes, it's all about this person and uh, your reading is all about this person and leaving them, you know, detaching from this energy. I will, I can see you in the future, you will be detaching from this person completely and concentrating on yourself completely. Yes, this is going to bring in a lot of abundance, a lot of change in your life for the better. It's looking very, very positive, so it's excellent. Now give me a moment while I pick out the soul's journey card for you. Let's see what comes up for you. Grief. So you got the card of grief. It says here, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So your person seems to have uh, lost you. But uh, if you have to go through the grieving process, yes, you need to grieve, yes, and you need to let it all out. So just expulse all these things out of your system and that should be good yes and then you're going to be fresh your energy is going to be completely renewed and you can move forward in a very positive way now let's see what archangel michael says to you archangel michael says decide to be happy now why because you're carrying a lot of anger a lot of pain a lot of trauma within you so please say this prayer with me to archangel michael Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. So if you're coming out of a time of depression, hurt, pain, whatever it is, yes, you're coming out of a very dark phase wherein you had to go inwards in order to see, face your shadow side, yeah, in order to see what all kind of energies you've been inviting in your life and why you've been inviting it in your life. Yeah, It's obviously because of past trauma, past pain, but now you are much, much stronger moving ahead and you will be attracting an equal just like yourself, yes, a strong person who knows what they want and who goes for it. So that is good news, darling Scorpio. Let's see what initials you have appearing in your reading. You have the letter A. You have the letter B. ABC. <laughs> so it looks like you're going through the process of the healing process uh, in sequence. So it's going smoothly. Let's put it that way. Yes. So you will come up much stronger and complete on the other side.
you have the letter I, the letter J, one more, and the letter E. Right, now let's see what zodiac signs it could be dealing with. It could be dealing with a Leo, a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces, One more. Mm. Cancer. Right. So you could be dealing with any of these zodiacs. So your person could be having any of these zodiacs prominent in their chart. So my darling Scorpio, I thank you for tuning in for your reading for the month of May 2021. Yes, please stay tuned. If you like this video, uh, please press the subscribe button and the like button. Yes, and if you wish to share this video so that uh, uh, somebody you love or somebody around you would like to view this video or it resonates with any of your friends or family, please share this video with them as well. So my darlings, I thank you for tuning in for your reading for the month of May 2021. Until we meet again the next time, I love you, take care and God bless.